Our top story at four is one that contains some disturbing details, and it could be upsetting to some people. Frederico Cruz resentenced from life in lockup to between 35 to 60 years for the gruesome killing of 17-year-old David Crawford. News 8 is sitting down with the former Kent County prosecutor who says this murder was one of the worst in county history. News 8's Megan Bunchman joining us now with our story. Well, Sue, Bill Forsyth tried and convicted Federico Cruz on his crimes back in 1996. And now today he says the resentencing of criminals who committed heinous crimes such like this one, well, it's a major mistake. Some people are simply evil. And that's how he described Cruz. Not that he was mentally ill, he was just evil. Reaction today from the former Kent County prosecutor who put convicted killer Federico Cruz behind bars for life. I think it's fundamentally unfair to the victim's family. This is the third time they've had to endure a sentence on him over a period of almost 30 years. And at some point, they deserve some closure on this. And the closure they got, I think, is a travesty. Following a series of high court rulings that dictated all 18 year olds and younger who were sentenced to mandatory life in prison without the possibility of parole was unconstitutional, Cruz got a new sentence of between 35 and 60 years in prison. It was heinous. While circuit court uh, judge Mark Trusak was required to follow the Supreme Court ruling. I cannot make the law. I am clearly just a circuit court judge. And I will note for the record that all of these cases of focus on the murderer's rights, uh, they do not, there is no discussion in any of these cases that deal with the victims, the victim's family, the victim's friends, punishment or deterrent. The only focus uh, from the appellate courts is on the defendant. Bill Forsyth, who prosecuted the original case back in 1996, says... Quite frankly, it puts the judges in a bad position. People are going to badmouth the judge, well, why didn't he give him life? Well, the judge is going to have to follow the law the Supreme Court has, has drafted here. It makes it next to impossible. Cruz was convicted of killing and decapitating David Crawford before videoing himself with the head of the deceased, further mutilating the body and narrating the entire ordeal. He narrated what he was doing by calling it the murder show. Welcome to the murder show. The video was so disturbing, in fact, that Forsyth decided to not show the jury the tape, but instead narrated what was happening as Cruz's own voice recordings played out in court. I know the Supreme Court, when they passed this ruling years and years ago, said it should be rare that someone gets a life sentence under these conditions of, of their age. Well, if Frederico Cruz and John Seisling, for that matter, don't deserve a life sentence, and I'm not sure anybody does. Seisling was also resentenced in terms of years this past June. Due to the new ruling, he was convicted of brutally killing his mom and two sisters. Forsyth says that the victims and their families are all but forgotten in the court of law, and every resentencing is now based off how the criminal has behaved in prison since the conviction, not the crime itself. We're being asked now, to resentence them on what they've become, not by what who they were. Well, how do you how do you draw the line with just these kids then? Forsyth goes on to question when and where the threshold of resentencing ages will end. Do you not sentence 19 year olds now or 20 year olds, 21 year olds, all of whom can vote, own a gun, drive a car, go in the military, but for these purposes, their brain's not developed enough to hold them accountable and send them to prison for the rest of their life. While the judge says he is bound to the latest decision from the Supreme Court, he also added, I think they ignore that every time these hearings are reset, the family members and friends lived, relive the worst day of their entire life. Now for more information on Cruz's and Seisling's resentencing, head on over to our website, woodtv.com.